happy morning children i am your english teacher in vital matriculation school today we are going to see the lesson from second unit my native place hope you all doing well right had your breakfast you have to eat your breakfast must students shall we start yes before the class we'll see the pictures my little pictionary my little pictionary here they give five type of pictures and explained it we have to read and learn about this pictures first is bullock cart all of you see this cart right bullock cart it's a noun word a vehicle with two or four wheels driven by bulls here this there are two bulls is there this is the bullock cart a vehicle with two or four wheels driven by bulls and second picture block sub block it's a verb bird turn up soil with the block turn up soil with the block it's a verb bird in the land the bulls block the soil third picture is showing the scarecrow it is the scarecrow this is also we have seen the right it is a noun word a figure this is the figure here a figure made to look like a person a figure made to look like a person and put in a field to frighten birds away and put in a field to frighten birds away here frighten means fear fears past partic participle is the frighten then they give the pictures grinds it is the grinds grinds is a noun word wheat or other cultivated cereal used as food wheat or other cultivated cereal used as food and last picture is armor this armor dress used in long long ago battles the metal cover want to protect the body in battle here battle means war here battle means war again i'll tell you bullock cart a vehicle with two or four wheels driven by bulls driven by bulls block turn up soil with a block scarecrow a figure made to look like a person and put in a field to frighten birds away these three pictures we have to see in the lands green lands right and this picture grinds wheat or other cultivated cereal used as food it is getting from green land it is getting from green land and armor it's a noun the metal cover want to protect the body in battle body body in battle battle means war let us learn the title of the lesson is trip to my grandparents village trip to my grandparents village this lesson about go to one boy go to their go to his grandpa grandparents village with with his parents that boy name is santosh santosh go to the go to his grandparents house with the with his parents let let me read 
it is summer it is summer vacation has started for santosh vacation has started for santosh it is summer what we remembered we had a summer vacation right summer leave leave from school vacation has started for santosh his parents are going to sirumalai his parents are going to sirumalai their parents village their parents village sirumalai is the native place of santosh and his parents here grandparents means grandfather and grandmother santosh is so excited santosh is excited he records an audio diary on his mother's phone he records an audio diary on his mother's phone he records all his feelings he records all his feelings during the visit he records all his feelings during the visit later he writes down in his diary what he had recorded santosh write down in a diary it's a good habit right to write a diary students so so you have to write a diary about your days he writes down in his diary what he had recorded right let's read his diary to know his experience during this visit this class about this lesson about his diary and his experience and feelings during his visit first date 10th april 10th april i am very eager to visit my grandparents village here i refers to santosh here i refers to santosh i am very eager to here santosh have very eager to visit his grandparents village santosh will meet my meet his grandparents and cousins i will meet my grandparents and cousins santosh will meet his grandparents and cousins here cousins means the child of your auntie or uncle right cousins means the child of your auntie or uncle i have packed my clothes i have packed my clothes santosh have to pack his clothes and tab for playing video games and tab for playing video games we will be traveling in a bus santosh and their parents will be traveling in a bus i am so excited santosh getting so excited and then 11th april this is the diary of the santosh right so we have to know the date 11th april today we are traveling today here 11th april they are traveling though it is summer though it is summer the weather is pleasant in the morning the weather is pleasant in the morning here weather means the climate at a certain place the climate at a certain place and time how much wind rain sun etc here weather means the climate climate means weather is pleasant here pleasant means nice enjoyable or friendly right pleasant so peacefully like pleasant means here nice n i c e nice in the morning there are numerous trees with yellow flowers on both sides of the road here see this picture today 
they are traveling in the bus though it is summer right it is summer the weather is pleasant in the morning the weather is pleasant in the morning there are numerous trees here numerous numerous means existing in large numbers existing in large numbers or many here many numerous means many trees there are many trees with yellow flowers on both sides of the road here see it's a numerous tree many trees and with yellow flowers with yellow flowers both sides of the road here there are numerous trees there are many trees with yellow flowers on both sides of the road on both sides of the road there is greenly all around there is greenly here see this picture all those it's having a green land green land green trees mountains like sky here right then there are many white cranes wait there is greenly all around there is greenery all around there is greenery all around there are many white cranes in the lush green paddy fields there are many white cranes here cranes means cranes is a verb and third person present cranes means to stretch to stretch your neck forward in order to see or hear something to stretch your cranes means to stretch to stretch your neck to stretch to stretch cranes means to stretch there are many white cranes in the lush green paddy fields paddy fields the here lush green paddy fields means see that this is the paddy lush green all those have a green land right so it is called the lush green paddy field where are we getting the rice rice getting from the paddy right it's from the paddy rice before paddy the scarecrows have managed to scare away the crows in the fields here scarecrow means here already we have seen right a figure made to look like a person and put in a field to frighten birds away the scarecrows have managed to scare away the crows in the fields here scarecrow means a very simple model of a person that is put in a field to frighten away the birds the scar scare crows have managed to scare away the crows in the fields there is no traffic children see there here any traffic are there no there is no traffic noise and air pollution in the village always village is like that right there is no traffic noise and air pollution also so there is no traffic noise and air pollution in the village it's so pleasant to see that next i get off the bus i get off the bus and run to meet my grandparents here see this picture he is santosh he get off the bus and run away to see his grandparents here see this picture he is santosh he get off the bus and run away to meet his grandparents let me read 
I get off the bus and run to meet my grandparents. They are delighted to see me. They are delighted to see me. The house is surrounded by many big trees. The house is surrounded by many big trees. Here, surrounded means here surrounded surrounded means to be or go all around somebody or something. Somebody or something. Here surrounded means to be, to be or go all around somebody or something. Write it down. Go all around somebody. Around something or somebody. The village surrounded by the house is surrounded by many big trees. The house is surrounded by many big trees. There are a few jackfruit. Listen. Few jackfruit, mango, neem, banana, pomegranate and coconut trees are there, right? There are a few, a few jackfruit, mango, neem, banana, pomegranate and coconut trees is there. The trees have abundant fruits. The trees have abundant fruits. Abundant means existing in very large quantities more than enough. Very large quantities. It is means very large quantities. Large quantities. It's called abundant fruits. My grandfather plucked some ripe mangoes for me. My grandfather, Santosh grandfather plucked some ripe mangoes for us. Here, ripe means ready to be picked and eaten. Ready to be picked and eaten. Ready to be picked and and eaten. It's called ripe mangoes. The mangoes are so juicy and sweet. Do you all love mangoes, right? The mangoes are so juicy and sweet. It is going on the 11th day. 11th day of April. And it's beginning as 12th April. I have woken up early today. 12th April, Santosh have woken up early today. I am out for a walk in the morning. He going for a walk in the morning. The cool breeze is coming. The cool breeze is coming. Here, woken up. To stop sleeping. Woken. It's a... It's meaning to stop sleeping. To stop sleeping. Here, cool breeze means chill wind. Early morning. In the early morning, we get so chillness, right? So, he feel that is calming. Here, calming means... To become or to make somebody quiet or calm. Calming means to become somebody calm. To become, to become somebody calm. Here calm means to become calm. The coconut palms are swaying lazily. The coconut palms are swaying lazily. Here, swaying means to move slowly. To move slowly. To move slowly. To move slowly. To, to M-O-V-E, move Yes, L O W L Y slowly, slowly, lazily. 
the farmers are already in their fields the farmers are already in their fields in early morning farmers going to the fields right here farmers working in the field right here paddies are there see the paddies farmer and its fields the farmers are already in their fields some of them are cutting the crops and some of them are threshing the paddy some of them are cutting the crops this means crops the farmer holding the hand crops and some of them are threshing threshing means like that this paddy the air is filled with the sweet sound of birds singing in the trees and the bushes the air is filled with the air is filled with the sweet sound of birds singing in the trees and the bushes bushes means it is the bush bushes the green color is bushes the cuckoo song is perhaps the most enchanting most enchanting here crops here some of them are cutting the crops and some of them are threshing the paddy threshing the paddy the air is filled with the sweet sound of birds singing birds singing in the trees and the bushes the cuckoo song is perhaps the most enchanting most enchanting i come here i refers to santosh right santosh come home i come home i freshen up and eat the tastiest breakfast tastiest breakfast in my life later my grandmother's introduces a girl pavai santosh grandmother introduces a girl pavai she goes to the village school she goes to the village school pavai goes to the village school she lives down the street she lives down the street she is very eager to show me around the village she is very eager to show me around the village pavi shows me how to play with the tire and stick pavi shows me how to play with a tire and a stick we start to talk to pavai's friend amir peter and umayal pavai's friends amir peter and umayal all children here to have see this see this picture here she is pavai his santosh pavai shows so santosh how to play with tire and stick tire and they they are holding the hand in the stick we stop here amir peter and umayal amir peter and umayal all children here to have their summer vacation their summer vacation they are all enjoyed their summer vacations amir is helping his father in milking their cows Amir is helping his father in milking their cows. He lets me pat his black calf. He lets me pat his black calf. Here pat means a gentle friendly touch with a flat hand. A gentle friendly touch, a gentle touch. Pat means a gentle touch. a gentle touch here black calf calf means a young cow yeah young y o u n g young cow c o w cow c 
Cough means a young cow. Peter and Umayal are sitting with their grandmother, breaking grounded pots and piling them neatly. Peter and Umayal are sitting with their grandmother, breaking groundnut. All of you know that groundnut. It's very healthy food or snack, right? Groundnut parts and filling them neatly. Later, they will take the nuts to the village market to sell them. Later, they will take the nuts to the village market to sell them. I help them for some time. I help them for some time. Next, 13th April. Next, 13th April. Pawai takes me to the village pond. Pawai take him to the village pond. There are many children splashing around in the pond. Here pond means an area of water that is smaller than a lake. A area of water that is smaller than lake. A, an area of water. An area of water that is smaller. That is smaller than a lake. There are many children splashing. Here, splashing means to fall, to fall. The children are to fall around the pond. Right, here see this picture. The children are splashing to fall around, the, around in the pond. Some boys are climbing to the top of the tall tamarind tree. Here, see this boys. The boys are climbing to the top of the tree. Here, it is the tamarind tree. It is the tamarind tree. Girls are playing hide and seek near the big banyan tree. Here, see, the children are playing hide and seek. Hide and seek, it is the banyan tree. Banyan tree means an Indian tree with branches. It has so many branches, right? It is the branches. So, it is called as banyan tree. My mother and my aunts take me to the river for a refreshing bath. Here, he is the mother, Santosh mother and Santosh auntie. Here, Santosh, sit here. I play for some time in the cool water. He is playing in the cool water. But I cannot swim. But he cannot swim. So I sit on the big smooth rock and watch my friend swim like an expert. So he cannot swim. So he sit on the big smooth. Uh, here pond, uh, pond have a small smooth rock right. Here he was sit and see the see his friends swim like a experts. Here experts means all of know them right. Very experienced, very experienced swimming like they talk and laugh a lot as they wash their clothes and dry their hair in the sun. They talk and laugh a lot. They talk and laugh a lot as they wash their clothes and dry their hair in the sun. The river is so clean that I can see the pebbles in the riverbed and colorful fish swim by. I love the scenery. Here pebbles means a small smooth rounded rock. Pebbles mean a small rock. A Small, smooth rock is called as pebbles in the riverbed and colorful fish swim by. I love this scenery. Santosh loves this scenery. 
and then fourteenth April. Here, fourteenth April. We are back to our home in the city. We are back to our home in the city. Santosh and their parents back to home in the city. The trip to our grandparents' home was so enjoyable. The trip to our grandparents' home was so enjoyable. Those two days flew by so fast. Those two days flew by so fast. I realized that during this day, what Santosh realized during this day, I had neither watched television nor played video games. He realized what I did neither. He had neither watched television nor played video games also. I am eagerly looking forward to our next visit. He is very eagerly looking forward to our next visit. Is TV and video game the only way to pass time? Can we do something else? Okay. So, you have to don't watch TV and play the video games. Right. Then, we, let me read the glossary. Eager. Here, eager means keen. Eager, keen. Vacation, holiday. Vacation, holiday. Numerous, may, many in number. Numerous means many in number. Threshing, separating grain from crops. Threshing. Separating grain from crops. Enchanting, attractive. Enchanting, attractive. Expert, well skilled. Expert, well skilled. Eager, keen. Vacation, holiday. Numerous, many in number. Threshing, separating grain from crops. Enchanting, attractive, enchanting, attractive, expert, well skilled, expert, well skilled. Let me once recall this. What is the title of the of this lesson? My native place. My native place. I love my native place. Do you love it? Yes. Really, we are all love the native place. Here once, bullock cart, a vehicle with two or four wheels driven by bulls. Here plough, turn up soil with the plough. Scarecrow, a figure made to look his a uh, look like a person and put. In a field to frighten birds away. Grains, wheat or other cultivated cereal used as food. Armor, the metal cover worn to protect the body in battle. Let me read these passages. You have to listen, okay? Who is the main character? Santosh. He writes a diary, right? This lesson about his Santosh and his diary and his visit to the grandparents' village. Yes? What he has seen, what he has enjoyed in the village. Now we see that. Listen, just I read the passage. It is summer. Vacation has started for Santosh. His parents are going to Sirumalai, their parents' village. Santosh is excited. He records an audio diary on his mother's phone. He records all his feelings during the visit. Later, he writes down in his diary what he had recorded. Let's read his diary. To know his experience during this visit. 10th April. I am very eager to visit my grandparents' village. 
I will meet my grandparents and cousins. I have packed my clothes and tab for playing video games. We will be traveling in a bus and so excited. In 11th April, today we are traveling though it is summer. The weather is pleasant in the morning. There are numerous trees with yellow flowers on both sides of the road. There is greenly all around. There are many white cranes in the lush green paddy fields. The scarecrows have managed to scare away the crows in the fields. There is no tra traffic, noise and air pollution in the village. I get off bus. I get off the bus and run to meet my grandparents. They are delighted. They are delighted to see me. The house is surrounded by many big trees. There are a few jackfruit, mango, neem, banana, pomegranate and coconut trees. The trees have abundant fruits. My grandfather plucked some ripe mangoes for me. The mangoes are so juicy and sweet. In 12th April, I have woken up early today. I am out for a walk in the morning. The cool breeze is coming. The coconut palms are swaying lazily. The farmers are around in the fields. Some of them are cutting the crops and some of them are threshing the paddy. The air is filled with the sweet sound of birds swinging in the trees. The air is filled with the sweet sound of the birds singing in the trees and the bushes. The cuckoo song is perhaps the most enchanting. I come home. I Tastiest breakfast in my life. I come home and freshen up and eat the. I come home and freshen up and eat the tastiest breakfast in my life. Later, my gr grandmother introduces a girl, Pavai. She goes to the village school. She lives down the street. She lives down the street. She is very eager to show me around the village. Pave shows me how to play with the attire and the stick. We happily run down the lanes balancing the tire with the small stick. We start to talk to Pave friends Amir, Peter and Umayar. All children here to have their summer vacation. Amir is helping his father in milking their cows. He lets me pat his black calf. Peter and Umayal are sitting with their grandmother, breaking groundnut parts or peeling them neatly. Later they will take later they will take the nuts to the village market to sell them. I help them for some time. And 13th April, Pave takes me to the village pond. There are many children splashing around in the pond. Some boys are climbing to the top of the tall tamarind tree. Girls are playing hide and seek near the big banyan tree. My mother and my aunties take me to the river for a refreshing bath. I play for some time in the cool water. But I cannot swim. Now I sit on the big smooth rock and watch my friends swim like experts. They talk and laugh a lot as they wash their clothes and they and dry their hair in the sun. The river is so clean that I can see the pebbles in the river bed and colorful fish swim, swim by. I love the scenery. 14th April We are back to our home in the city. The trip to our grandparents' home was so enjoyable. 
those two days flew by so fast i realized that during this day i had neither watched television nor playing video games i'm eagerly looking forward to our next visit glossary eager keen vacation holiday numerous many in number thrashing separating grain from crops enchanting attractive expert well skilled students today we are, we stop the class here let me continue at tomorrow uh, all of you keep safe at your home okay those who are not paid your school fees you have to pay and take your books thank you students have a meaningful monday thank you